with legislation and with suggestions that we've made to the Board of Supervisors. He's working with us. He couldn't be here tonight, but his aide, Sheila, is going to talk to us a little bit about some of the things we've done with, with Compost's office. Yay. Hi, everyone. So David apologizes that he couldn't be here tonight, but he had another community meeting in the district, so our entire office is spread all over the place tonight. But as you know, David's been really upset about the foreclosure crisis, not only as a supervisor because he hears from so many organizations like Occupy Bernal and ACE and others about what's happening, but also because he's a resident and a neighbor here in Bernal, as am I. So we get to see what's happening to our neighbors and friends all the time, and so we feel it on a personal level as well. Um, Cooley, my other boss, has <laughs> to talk a little bit about some of the things that the Board of Supervisors and Supervisor Campos in particular has been working on. And I know that Supervisor John Avalos is going to be joining shortly, so there might be some things that you hear that are similar. But I think that some of these are beginning tools at the local level that we can help to expand on, but it's only in partnership that we can make that happen. So when the foreclosure crisis was first really starting out, one of the things that we did was we, we started hearing from groups like ACE, the California Reinvestment Coalition, and the Mission Economic Development Agency, that mortgage modification consultants who were unscrupulous were really screwing people over and trying to give them bogus loans. And so we looked to see what we could do here locally. There are some situations that the state can only control. But where we saw that there were some consultants that we could hold accountable, we worked with the district attorney's office, the city attorney's office, and the assessor recorder to pass legislation that allows homeowners the right to sue, as well as the district attorney's office the right to charge misdemeanors against uh, fraudulent mortgage modification consultants. And I think this is one piece of legislation that would be really helpful to get the word out about because it's an opportunity to actually bring suits against some of these um, fraudulent uh, mortgage modification consultants. Um, as things really started revving up, we're so lucky to have Occupy Bernal develop because it's really only through community groups like this that are raising hell that um, we can push the things that we want to. Um, so it was um, Occupy Bernal that started bringing a lot of individual cases as well as we, we were getting calls in our office. So we were able to, at least in some individual cases, connect them up uh, with bank executives at a higher level. As we all know, there's, it's a faceless bank. You get shifted around from person to person and then you don't have anyone. So at least in some cases, we were able to make those calls and have those sit-down discussions. And in some cases, um, have success in doing some modifications that were helpful to keep people in their homes. Unfortunately, that's still continuing today. Um, the other piece that we realized as a board of supervisors is that we needed to shed greater light because the entire city didn't really know what was happening in San Francisco. It became, it was, people were hearing about it on a national level. What was actually happening in San Francisco? The assessor recorder's office had called for a report to find out were banks really complying, even here in San Francisco, what was happening with our foreclosures here locally? And so we were able to call a hearing that shed to light this report that came out last year. And at the same time, um, publicly lend our support for the Homeowner Bill of Rights at the state level that Kamala Harris pushed forward. Um, and also to call for um, a moratorium on foreclosures. The hard part is that we really, we don't have as much of the muscle that we need to actually tell the banks that you know you need to stop this. But what does help is the work that community groups in conjunction, I think, with a lot of elected officials can do to get them to become more responsible actors. In response to this, because we knew that we needed to provide some more support to organizations like Occupy Bernal, uh, this last budget cycle, some of the things that we did were to make sure that there was an extra million dollars that was brought in for eviction defense and for also uh, stabilization of homes. And with those funds, we can help to connect folks to organizations that do housing counseling to try to fight the foreclosures. The other big piece is that um, the voters of San Francisco in November passed 
a housing trust fund that will provide for over a billion dollars in affordable housing funding um, over the next 30 years. But one of the um, important pieces that um, really John Avalos helped to initiate that Supervisor Compost and other members of the board supported was to create a housing stabilization fund that would live within the Mayor's Office of Housing to specifically help homeowners that are dealing with foreclosure as well as tenants that are dealing with evictions because we know that it's both sides of the coin. So with those funds in place over the next coming years, we hope that we can increase the resources that are needed to continue fighting. Um, so I, I just wanted to share with you, I, I think that some of the, the, the best ways that we can continue to work together is to figure out where legislatively at the local level we can make the biggest impact. In some cases, they, it may be lending support and being a model city um, for the rest of California to push legislation at the state level. Um, in other cases, it may just be placing uh, greater public pressure on the banks in conjunction with electeds who are holding them accountable. Um, and I also think that it's going to be important that as the Board of Supervisors gets three new members of the board, that we're going to need to do the education with them to ensure that they're also on board. So as we want to push things forward in the years to come, um, that, that they're also on the same page with us. But um, I just want to say, even though it's been um, so devastating to talk with individuals about what's been happening, at the same time, it's so heartening to see the activism and energy of this organization, so many others here, especially in the southeastern part of the city, because we're seeing those incremental changes happening. We're seeing individual wins, and I think collectively, if we keep working together, we're going to be able to fight this. So thank you. Thank you.